Okay, folks, so here we are in a three and a half year regenerating plot. And what a relief, because I'm sitting in the shade. Okay, first of all, in the tropics and subtropics, this is the place to be is in the shade. And I'm in the shade of banana trees that are now flourishing, not just one, but they're growing out in their natural clumps and making a big canopy. I mean, it's a it's an interim canopy. It's not a true rainforest canopy, but it's a canopy. And it's sheltering the ground from that really hard rain that I talked about before. It's providing tons of biomass. You can see at the base of each of our cacao trees, there's a whole pile of mulch. And that mulch, it protects the ground. It entices the microorganisms and the insects up to the surface to eat it and digest it and then poop their little excrements into the soil to create natural fertilizer, okay? So the cycle, that natural cycle that we saw in the naturally regenerating forest is now in its like full manifestation here and only after three and a half years, we've got a system going, it's a system. So the system is now, yeah, the system is now producing our, one of our target crops, which is this beautiful heirloom variety of cacao called the Aroma Nacional. It is one of the most sought after cacao uh, varieties in the world. Uh, just yesterday, I learned that if you want to have a chocolate bar in any of the top European competitions, you have to have at least 10% Aroma Nacional cacao bar in your uh, cacao in your bar. And that is exclusively what we're growing here, along with multiple other species. So when your agroforestry system begins to mature and you're putting in your target crops, you don't only want to put in your one target because then you're essentially a little bit better than a monoculture, but you're not a true agroforestry system. So we have in this system about 70% of our Aroma Nacional cacao to generate our future income. And then we also have orange, citrus, uh, native hardwoods like laurel, cedar, very beautiful woods that will take a really long time to mature, but they are part of the system. And so we've got a whole system going on here. And the advantages of that are legion. We have our cash crop to sell. We have a biodiverse system. Simply the difference in the soil is amazing. So here, now what we're getting is mycelia. Mycelia are those fungal networks you might have read about, the New York Times and everybody has written about mycelia, how plants communicate underground, how they feed each other, how they talk to each other. So this is it. And you only get mycelia when you have this great uh, decomposing leaf mass on the soil, Suki. And you can see how the soil is loose. Yeah, the soil is loose, it comes apart, it's friable. So this is what you can expect in your three to four year regenerating system.